This video is inspired by the Plate Ferret, my YouTube comrade, and you can check out his video in my description. I highly recommend you guys subscribe to him. He's putting out really good content, very logical stuff, very interesting stuff. But anyway, let's get to the discussion about having an open mind. Now, one of the biggest um, impediments to people's personal development I have found is that they are unable to have an open mind. People generally carry around with them a certain zeal for their beliefs that's unwavering. And nothing can become more dangerous. This is exhibited in many different types of people, religious people and non-religious people alike. For example... Religious people, a lot of religious people annoy a lot of non-religious people because they try and assume that everyone should follow their beliefs. And a lot of these people that are actually religious, they're only religious based off the um, basis that they were born in a particular region of the world where they practice that religion. So this religion is what they've known since birth, and now they assume that it's the truth without questioning it. So if you were born into Christianity, now I'm not trying to say there's anything wrong with religion, but I'm just giving an example. If you were born into Christianity and you are judging someone who's Muslim or follows Islam or Judaism without first understanding why they follow that religion, without first understanding the fundamentals of their doctrine and the differences between your religion and theirs and why someone will follow that path, you're displaying your ignorance. You having you are having a closed mind. You cannot assume that you are right based off the merit or the notion that you were just born into this religion. And that's all you know. You cannot assume that. On the other side of the spectrum, we also have the atheists or the some more scientific minded people that um, believe in the you know the values of the Enlightenment period about pursuing logic and knowledge. And these people can equally be as ignorant too because some of them look at science as if it was religion, as if it was unquestionable. Now let's talk about science for a minute. A hundred or a few hundred years ago, people used to think the world was flat and people used to think that the world revolved around the earth, that the earth was the center of the galaxy. And of course, as time went on, we started finding out different developments of science. We started advancing our technology and understanding things a little bit better. And the more we advance our technology, the more we start to understand about how much we don't know. The closer we look into an electron, we see these quarks and smaller subatomic particles, the more we're seeing gaps in our knowledge. We're starting to see that a lot of these models start to fall apart, these, you know, string theory or, you know, Newtonian classical mechanics, all these things that we believe to be truths with closer scrutiny start to fall apart. So science is out of the picture as well. I mean, it's a good model. It helps you understand certain things in the universe, but you cannot look at it as a god. You cannot assume that things do not exist in this universe purely off the basis that hasn't been explained by science. That's just another form of ignorance. So we've already discussed two forms of ignorance. And if you are a realized person or a someone who values personal development and self-actualization, you need to make it your goal to walk through this world with an open mind so you can truly get closer to the truth, so you can find out exactly what is going on or get closer than most people who refuse to engage in this type of inquiry. This is why I like philosophy so much, because philosophy encourages this, it encourages critical thinking. And a good um, story to help this uh, discussion is an allegory by Plato. It's a really famous one called The Cave. Now follow me here. So let's say that we have a bunch of people there and they're living in a cave. They were born in this cave. The cave is all they know. So it's just pure darkness. But above them, on top of the cave, there's a fire. And this fire illuminates a builder cave and allows them to see shadows on the wall. So these people just live on this cave and all they can see is the shadows on the wall. Because they see these forms of different objects, they start to believe that these forms are the objects. That is their reality because they haven't seen anything else. So they believe the forms are real. Now, let's say one of these guys manages to escape the cave 
and goes into the real world. He will see new forms. He'll see different colors, different sounds, things that he hasn't seen before, amazing things. He will then go back and try to explain to other people about the forms he saw outside. And these people, having been born into the cave, will refuse to believe him. They will refuse to believe him or his ideas and they'll say that he's crazy. They'll even plot to kill him. This is why it's like for people that reach the other side and understand that a lot of life is just forms and we can never truly know. So do not be one of these people that's stuck in the cave. Get out of the cave and see things for what they are. Try to understand the world. And the best way you can do that is approaching with an open mind, being able to question your beliefs, being able to change. All right, to finish this video off, I'm going to give you guys some practical advice. Next time you're having an argument or a dispute with someone, try and understand why they're taking the stance that they're taking. Try to put your feet in their shoes, see the world through their perspective. When you do this, you no longer are in the first person, but are engaging in a different vantage point. You're transcending the ego, which is something a lot of people can't do, but so many people have this rigid connection to their idea of who they are, their beliefs, and how the world should be. So you're getting rid of all that. And when you're in this position where you can understand the other person's point of view and your point of view and why you're deciding to make the decisions you're making or the stances you're taking, you can get closer to the truth. And if you do realize that you're wrong, there's nothing wrong with that. You just change your ways, uh, figure out a different path, and get on with your life. There's nothing wrong with that. Too many people, because of the attachment to their ego, are unable to say that they're wrong or unable to question their beliefs out of fear. And you need to be better than that. So that's the first thing you need to do. And I'll give you an example. Let's say you're having a discussion about different types of music. You like country music or rap music, and your friend likes death metal music, and you can't understand it. And so just saying that death metal music is complete garbage, is complete shit, try and understand why someone would like it. Maybe try listen to some of it. Try look up really good death metal bands. Try understand the theory behind it. Try understand why people enjoy this type of music. Is there meaning behind it? Uh, is, there, is there some sort of skill involved in playing the drums or the guitar or the vocals just try dig deeper you might not have you might not like it still you can still hold your opinion but you will be able to understand why other people like it or have a respect for it and that's a different frame of mind so that's my tip for the day and i hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you like subscribe and all that good shit peace Just